Welcome back to another LMMS tutorial. In this video, I want to show you a workflow that I like to use uh, using MIDI files. So I'll import a MIDI file and then show you kind of how I strip it down to just maybe a melody and a bass line. And then we can adjust, we can change the key of that and kind of use that as the basis for a song. Um, so to do that, we've kind of covered this in an earlier video, at least the importing part of it. We go to File, Import, and I've downloaded some MIDI files. MIDI files are just incredibly... Um, there's just so many of them online. Okay, so when I imported this, it says I don't have a sound font, which means if I try to hit play right now, we see activity happening, it's lighting up, but we don't hear it. Um, you may have a sound font um, configured, but I don't right now, so I'm just going to drag in something else over top of this uh, S, uh, SF2. So I'm gonna do this one here. So I'll left click and drag, and just replace only these ones with the SF2, because really, most of these tracks in this MIDI file, that's the one thing about MIDI's is that they're kind of messy. So most of these tracks aren't really doing anything. But now we can play and see what this sounds like. So it doesn't sound super great right now because we're using the same instrument for everything. And we also have our percussion tracks down here. So if we solo and listen to these, this is just like a percussion track. So I'm going to redo the percussion myself, so I'm going to get rid of these. And this one's a percussion track as well. What it is is just these notes here. <laughs> and so it was mapped to a certain type of drum percussion instrument, but now with this instrument it's not sounding correct. So I'll get rid of that. And then the rest of these are just automation tracks <clears throat> for kind of the intro so it's, this one will start out at like a hundred percent and then go down to seventy percent after the a little bit after the first count and then it just goes away completely so I'm gonna get rid of all these automation tracks as well and you see we have those four blank tracks at the top too that's because when we import a MIDI it just brings it in over top of our existing project so if I were to import another MIDI right now it would come below in all these tracks down here it'd be in this area, but this would stay as well. Which is really nice if you want to mix in two songs. Maybe we'll even do that at the end of this one. But I'm going to get rid of these for now, because it, it just helps make it not so complicated. And then I'm going to drag all of this back to bar one. So I'll just do the selection tool, left click and highlight everything. And then we'll just uh, move those over. Perfect. And then go back to that tool so I don't forget. Now we can listen and see what this sounds like. So the intro here is the level start. Very cool. But there's a part here that kind of repeats. It's about halfway through, like right here. So right there is where it repeats, at bar 13. So if I come over here to bar 13, I just want to simplify this as much as I can. So I go back to my selection tool, go to bar 13, and we will highlight all of this. Is that where it happens? Actually, I think it's, for some reason, I think it's bar 11 here. Maybe I'm making a mistake. Hit the delete key. What I'm, what I'm really doing here is just figuring out where this phrase repeats so, so that I can use it, you know, I have a little bit more granularity there. So I can take this now. Let's uh, unselect, how do we do that? Right click, go to copy, we'll click over here and go to paste. I think that might be it, let's see how this sounds. Yeah, there we go. So what we can do, we can now we just have just this nice little bass line if we want to listen to it over and over again. It'll just repeat over and over again. So we could kind of use this bass, we could, you know, we could create a new type of thing that um, maybe this melody we don't want to come in very first. And so we could create kind of a new yeah, mix up of this song. Uh, we can change these instruments as well. Maybe we find it. There was one that I want to show you. This percussive ba bass is really cool. But if we put it on here, I was playing with this earlier. It sounds pretty terrible because it's so low. So we can change that as well. What we can do, let's zoom back into something more manageable here. Um, we can see this is sounding bad because it's down here on B1. It's very low. With this instrument, this particular preset, it sounds low. 
but it sounds really nice in these higher octaves. So maybe we want to bring that B1 up to B4. So there's a couple ways to do that, but one way, um, and this is kind of how, how if it was in a different key, a way we could match it as well. We just select everything here. Can I select to the end? Hold down my arrow key on the keyboard. We'll just keep selecting until we have everything. And then we'll just hover over. We'll go back to this tool here. We'll hover over this note until we get this these four triangles. And we'll move it all the way up. Oh, man. We've got to go all the way up to B4. Where is it at? B3. Will that work? Now let's go one higher. That's nice. So I think that'll sound a lot better. So what we did, we're using a different instrument now. And then this one, we need to do the same thing too, unfortunately now. Oh, no, we don't. This is the same. We'll just center click and then copy this one and bring it back over. Perfect. It's a little bit loud now. The bass is too, so we'll adjust that. Nice. Yeah, cool. And then what? Uh, you know, then we bring in our, uh, we add a beat and bass line here. So we just bring something in. You know, we got like a kicker here. Maybe we'll do a. Yeah, I don't love that one, but maybe we'll just keep it for the purposes of this. So we can bring a couple in here. We can add in another one and have this one be the second one. So our second one, we can just get. Uh, Something like this, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but you get the point there. We add in some nice, uh, I'll just grab some percussion here somewhere. Okay, what I want to show you now is bringing in another MIDI file so we, so we can see what that's like and see if we can kind of mix two together. So if we go to import, because this is something I do if I'm working with MIDI and I don't want to key it out manually, I'll just grab, so this is stage one of Mario Brothers. So this is going to be nice too. And I'll just go through and do the same thing. I'll get rid of all these tracks that are just like nothing, that's not, that's not directly melody or bass, because all I really want is the notation. And I can change the key of the notation, I, I, and I can do my own automation tracks, and I can do my own percussion tracks, so I can see this. In fact, I just know this is a percussion track. Usually the, the lower tracks are percussion. Uh, okay, let's see what this one sounds like. So let's go back to, where was I? Add in one of these and see what it sounds like. So for this, I'm going to turn off these top ones now, just so I can listen to, oops, these new ones that I brought in. Double of that, so let's get rid of that. Let's see what this is. Oh, cool. Let's see those bells. <laughs> Alright, cool. So now I gotta figure out if I can mix these together. So maybe I wanna do this intro, so I wanna, uh, I can grab these here. We'll move all these over there. And so let's do the intro for the card house and then have it go into this one and then we want these to come later. So we can see what that would sound like. Yeah, they don't really go together super well. But then we could also grab these and bring them over and have them start here and then get rid of this and keep the bass line. Yeah, just play around and see what it sounds like. Oops, those are muted.
Yeah, it doesn't sound great. Anyway, but you bring in, you know, there's sometimes you do get ones that sound really good. You want to take this bass line and you'll mix it with a melody of another song and you can make things sound pretty cool. Or alternate between two bass lines that sound pretty good with each other. Anyway, I don't know if this video has been informative for you or not, but it might show you a little bit about bringing in these MIDI files. And then the most important thing is you get these notes you can work with. You can grab each individual one and change it if you want to. Or you can select and just transpose a certain part of it. If you want to do a key change, right, you could grab like just this phrase and for a second have it shifted up a couple keys. And then go back down. So you can do all kinds of stuff. Just really, really powerful using the MIDI files like that. And so if you if you're having trouble, if you're not you don't have a, a maybe a musician background or, or you're not familiar with the piano, like actually keying out, it's, sometimes it's good just to grab uh, some notes from MIDI files, some notation, and be able to use that as your basis. Well, I'm going to end this video here. Hopefully you found that informative. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and leave your questions below if you have any. And I'll catch you in the next video.